Hello, everybody, and welcome again to Borderline Personality Disorder in Bite-Sized Pieces. This will be, I believe, Part 8, and of course this is taken from the book Stop Walking on Eggshells by Randy Krieger and Paul T. Mason, MS, copyright 2010. So we're talking about communication today a little bit. So what is communication? And this is important, especially with somebody that has borderline personality disorder or BPD, as it's also known. Number one, listen. We're going to expound on these in a moment. Number two, don't be thinking about what you want to say next. Really listen to the other person. Three, don't get defensive. Four, don't tune out the person, even if they say something that's falsely accusing you. That's a hard thing to do, but don't do it. Number five, observe the words, the body language, the expressions, and the tone of voice of the person who is speaking. Number six, validate the person. Number seven, engage with the person by being silent, hence listening, pausing before speaking, eye contact, using I, not you statements, your posture. Turn towards the speaking person, uncrossing your arms, sitting up, nodding when appropriate. Sometimes borderline people, no matter how good you try to say things, how well you phrase it as, I feel blah, 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 when this happens, they're still going to hear it as an accusation, as if you're saying, well, you do this or you always do that. So keep crying keep trying, not keep crying, keep trying, they may one day hear you say your I statements and not take it as an affront against them as a you statement. Paraphrase when you talk to them. Do not interpret. So you're not going to tell them what they're saying. You're going to say things like this. It sounds like you're feeling angry right now because I wouldn't let you go to your friends on this important night. It seems like you're sad because you pushed away another friend. It seems like you're blue because I am not giving you the attention you wanted. Okay. So... That's how you do it. Seems like, sounds like, just kind of like your perception. Don't assume you know what the other person is feeling. I make that mistake all the time. But you're going to basically reflect back to them. It seems like you're feeling this way. It sounds like you're going through this, whatever. Okay, and then wait for their response. If you're talking to a person with borderline personality disorder, stay on topic, even if the borderline tries to divert you off of it. Just keep repeating yourself gently, not obnoxiously. Use short, simple sentences. Avoid stating that the borderline has an illness and they're BPD and that's why they're acting the way they are. Ask the borderline person questions. What do you think we should do? How do you think we should handle this? Keep your own voice, tone, and inflection in check at all times. Avoid up-talking. Up-talking is when you do this, and you just put a tone at the end of your voice, like that, and it sounds accusatory sometimes to someone with borderline personality. Do not defend yourself. Do not deny. Don't say, no, I didn't say that. Yes, I, yes you did, and back and forth, back and forth. Don't get into verbal shouting matches on that. Do not counterattack the attacker. Well, yeah, maybe I do that, but you, blah, blah, blah. No. Do not withdraw from the discussion. Make sure you have the discussion, but you handle it in the ways that I'm saying here. Protect your psyche. Number one, agree in part. Here's some other ta tactics and techniques. If somebody says to you, a borderline person, I see you're wearing that same stupid dress again, your response is going to be, yes, I'm wearing this dress. Not, how dare you call it stupid? It's not a stupid dress. And yes, I'm wearing it again. If I want to wear it, I'll wear what I want. No, just say, yes, I'm wearing this dress. Or if the borderline says, when I make dinner, I never make onions with it. 
Your response is, no, you probably don't. If they say, I can't believe you are grounding me for cheating on a test. If I could have Mary's mom, I could do whatever I want. Your response is, true, I'm grounding you because you cheated. Next, validate the person's opinion. You're the one who's mentally ill, they might say. Your response should be, I can see you disagree with your diagnosis. Because perhaps they were told they were mentally ill. So they're projecting it onto you. That's how they do sometimes. All right. Hopefully those helped somebody here. And I will be look, looking forward to talking to you on the next uh, Borderline Personality Disorder in Bite Size Pieces. Have a great night, everybody. And we'll see you soon.